Hey everyone, welcome back to Roulette Fever. Today I'm back with another inside bet strategy and today we are going to bet with some corner bets, okay? And I'm quite certain that you have seen this strategy somewhere and many of you have tried it also. But the progression is a bit tricky one, okay? So let's begin rather than waiting any longer and you will get to understand what I'm talking about, okay? It has some elements of that ladder progression but we are not going to use a copycat ladder progression here, okay? Choose any random six corner bits, okay? They don't have to be some certain ones. They can be on the basis of the trends or on the basis of the hot and cold numbers, okay? So let's begin. I'm gonna choose certain corner bits, but they can be different for you, okay? And I'm gonna choose this one. And make sure another thing that uh, your corner bits are not overlapping each other, okay? Because our aim is to cover at least 24 numbers. So we have started with a loss. We are going to increase our bet size by one unit on each and every bet. But the real trick in this progression is in its regression, you know, when we win in the progression. That's why it's going to be a bit different. So as you can understand, we have won. But we are not going to come back to our base bet because we want to get back to a new session high. That will be our target, okay? So we are going to bet with $2 on each and every bet until we get back to a new session high. So we have another win. So now we can come back down to our base bet, okay? Okay, now at this moment, when you have completed a progression and degression, you can change your corner bets, okay? But I'm not going to change them. I'm going to keep, keep them same. Because I don't want to drag this video really long because if I want to change them, it will take much more time, you know. So remember always your all-time session high and your regression will depend on that. In this case, it's 6. So I'll keep that in mind. We have on. So in this case, again, I'm not going to go back down to my best bet because we haven't reached a new session high. But if you are a safer player, you can always go back down to your best bet at any point of time. But here my target is pretty simple. I'm not going to go back down until I get onto a new session high. We are up by 12. Target 20 to 30 per session, okay? Take some break and then again come back. You don't need to complete 100 on each and every round, okay? We are up by 15. Let's see. You are going to face some losing streaks and I understand that. Now the stop loss can be too, uh, determined on the basis of two things, you know? Either you use the double of your session tar target as your stop loss or you can use the five step progression as your limit, you know. So by five step, I mean here we are increasing from one to two. So in this way, when you will reach the fifth step, you can use that as your stop loss. Okay, don't go over that. So you can use your stop loss in those two ways. Okay. And another thing I would like to add here. We are close to 20. So yeah, let's bet with $2, not a problem. So what I wanted to add more in this is that let's say that you, you have gone to the fifth step, right? And you have gone to the fifth step. Let's go back to best bet now. So you win on the fifth step, right? But you haven't gotten to a new session high. So at that point of time, don't remain on that fifth step. Okay, come down one or two steps. Uh, the only reason I say that is that you are deep into that into that progression and you don't need to take that much of risk at that moment you can come down one or two steps in the progression in the degression so don't always follow it rigidly but while you are in the second or third step always look for a new session high and then only come back to the base bed okay that's what i have felt while trying out this strategy several times and that has always helped me so we were up by 27, remember that number, because we will be always looking for a new session high. So yeah, now we are betting with $2 on each and every bet. Let's see. We have another loss. So in this case, we are going to increase our bet size by $1 on each and every bet. Remember, we are up by 27. And now we are betting with $3 on each and every bet. So let's see. Okay, we have another loss. Amazing. So as I said, you will face back-to-back -back continuous losses sometimes, you know, and you will have to readjust your degression and progression in accordance to that. So at the moment, we are down by minus 9. We are up by 27. Remember that. Great. We have a win, but we are not with a new session high. 
and we are betting with literally four dollars on each and every bet so i will minimize my risk a bit and i'm going to come down to three dollars on each and every bet okay but remember i'm not going back to my base bet until i get onto a new session high that's the one and only condition of playing with this strategy and with this progression okay so yeah i'm going to remain on the three dollars unit size on each and every bet we're up by 12. okay we have a loss so we are going to increase our bet size once again this is nice you know because at the beginning i was winning back to back so i was feeling like i won't be able to show you the worst of this strategy so this can be the worst you can face back to back losses because again we are covering only 24 numbers so again we have a loss so this is gonna be our final step okay the five dollar on each and every bet if we lose this one i'm gonna tell you to walk away don't hang around after this one okay okay we have a win so when you whenever you are on the five dollar mark okay try to come back down two steps at least that's what i said earlier also i'm gonna keep on betting with three dollars on each and every bet okay i'm giving myself a bit of room to work with but at the same time i'm minimizing my risks as much as possible okay we have another win red and i'm not changing my corner bets as i said that i don't want to drag this video any longer than what it has already become let's see if i would have finished this video by reaching 20 you know you could not, you wouldn't have noticed all of this so i'm glad i kept on playing at least my target was to reach 30 let's see what happens we have another win great i'm not coming back down from the three dollar on each and every unit size as you can understand on each and every bed okay we have a loss so we are going to increase our bed size four dollars okay we have a win and at this moment i think we can reduce our bet size a bit even if it takes longer you know more time to get to our target it's fine as long as we are minimizing our risks as much as we can we have another win great always remember your previous session all time previous session high you know it was 27 in our case so we need to keep that in mind okay we have a loss so again we are going to increase our bet size you can keep on bet betting with four dollars you know after the win but i'm minimizing my risks as you can understand and i have fair bit of reason to do that okay so at the moment we are up by nine so i'm again gonna decrease my bet size to three dollars i'm coming down by two step when i'm reaching the fifth step you know after a win on the fifth step i'm coming down to the third step because i don't want to cross that five dollar bet limit you know that's literally my stop loss in this strategy okay so we have reached 27 at par with our previous session high so we can come back down and we are close to our target too so there is no point in taking excessive risks so if we win this one we'll reach our target let's see what happens i think we have lost yes we have so again we are going to increase our bet size so you see how we saved ourselves by reducing our bet size on the correct moment okay we have a win we are back to 27 now again we can reduce our bet size always be reasonable don't be rigid okay okay we have another loss just the moment we are thinking about getting to 30. let's see Okay, we have a win again i'm going to reduce my bed size i know it's taking longer than what i expected or than any of you may have might have expected but as i always say that i'm fine 
as long as I'm not losing money. I think again we have lost. So we are going to increase our bet size once again. Oh my goodness, this is taking time, some taste of our character. But as I always say, I'm a stubborn kind of a person, you know. If, you know, stubborn, I think in a... What can I say? What is the word? Persistent way, I think. Because if I would have hit my stop loss, I wouldn't have hung around, you know. I would have called it off. But because I haven't hit my stop loss, and in this case, I've hit my target, so I kept on playing. But anyway, that was the strategy, guys. Increase it by one step. But while you get a win, while in progression, make sure to get back to a new session high before you come back down to your best bet. Okay. And why I'm not saying about, um, I'm not asking you to follow the gradual regression is because maybe in many occasions you will find out that you are not getting back to the previous session high, you know, even after coming back to the base bed through regression. So that's what I'm saying. Remain on the same unit size where you have won, unless it's over that third step. If you are uh, winning on the fourth or fifth step, come back down one or two steps, okay, to that third or second step so that you can give yourselves a bit more room to play with. Even if you lose another round, you will have some funds remaining in your, in your account you know so that's why i'm coming down two steps after winning on the fifth step or fourth step so anyway this was the strategy guys let me know how it works for you and try it out on demo and if you want to make any more further modifications into the progression or anything like that let me know about it and if you have any strategies that you would like to share with me and you would like to like your like to see your strategies getting featured on this channel let me know about it in the comment section i would be Happy to make a video on that too. So thanks for watching guys. I'm going to see you on the next video.